is happening all around the world. Drummers in church bands are caged behind a screen, sometimes in a, in a completely enclosed fish tank, or even worse, forced to play an electronic drum kit. It's a tragedy, and it's got to stop. Jonathan, I, I really like your control of dynamics as a drummer, but tell me about some of the things you're thinking about. You're obviously thinking about how hard you're hitting stuff, yeah. but what else? Well, I'm thinking about the room that I'm playing, and I play the room first and then my drums. And I'm thinking about... So tell us a bit more about that. You, what do you mean by that? I play the room first, and second I play the drums. Yeah, well, if it's, if it's a big hall like that we're in, it's very echoey, so I might not play cymbals which take up a lot of the high end and, and kind of muddy things up a little bit. Right. Um, it's hard to hear what's going on. See, um, I love what you're saying there. Drummers need to realize this, especially when they're outside the fish tank, um, that they are actually playing every air particle in the room. Yeah. They're not just playing the drums. And so we need to think about how much air is in here. What are the shiny surfaces? And what's actually meeting people's ears? You know, behind, the, behind the, the screen or inside the fish tank, we need to mic every item. And then it's up to the engineer to control that, not the drummer. And we lose a sense of musicality there. This drum kit, this Adoro kit we've got, which is three microphones. Yeah. But we're realizing that a lot of the sound of this kit is going to meet people's ears by passing through air. So, okay, we're thinking about playing the whole space that you're in, yeah. how hard you're hitting things, but what else? Um, also, what I'm hitting things with, I have you know, a few different things. I have a mallets and some brush broomsticks. Um, I even have my, my wooden sticks, which hit a little bit harder. Right. Um, so I'm playing each, each drum with that in mind. And I notice you've got a different sort of mallet. I mean, the, 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 little, uh, the little beater that hits the, the, the kick drum, yeah. often they're quite a hard material. Yep. Bam, bam. But you've changed it out for a really soft one. Yes. Great. All right. And anything else you're thinking about? So it's, you're playing all the space, you're thinking about how hard you're hitting, you're thinking about what you're hitting with. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, I'm thinking about, about my parts. I might, you know, be a little bit simpler with my grooves at first and then give a little more energy as the song progresses. Great. So a lower dynamic would lend itself to having more space yes. between what you're hitting exactly. and how you're hitting it with what you're hitting it. Yeah. Great, so there's a lot more uh, scope for creativity there. And I think you enjoy that, right? I do, yeah. Good deal. Well, why don't you demonstrate to us, and I know you mentioned this before, but you know, we actually find that these symbols, and, and in this case, these are dream symbols, um, which match the Adoro kit really well. Um, symbols are the thing that make things really exciting. And you start hitting symbols, you've got to be at the top end of your dynamic range, right? Yeah. You're th that higher end. So why don't you do a demonstration for us? Start really, really soft, if you wouldn't mind. Sure. And let us see you build, maybe in about two bar blocks, up to being bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'd love to have people see exactly what you're doing here. Okay. Thanks, Jonathan. Oh, I really love that, Jonathan. That's wonderful. Thank Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the other videos in this series. Please subscribe to the channel. And hey, if you, uh, you want to find out some more information about More Than Music Mentor to arrange your own consultation or even have me visit for an on-site consultation and training, please go to the website and contact us through morethemusicmentor.com.